know I don't look like a typical British seaman, but believe it or not, I really was one. A long time ago, as a solo musical cabaret act, I was invited to perform on one of the Cunard fleet in the Mediterranean. I loved the life and stayed at sea, cruising the world for over three years. Cunard's elegant cruise ship, the Queen Elizabeth II, or QE2 as she's commonly known, was the flagship of the Cunard line for over 30 years. She made her maiden voyage in 1969 and she is without question one of the last great transatlantic liners. Over 70,000 tons in weight and 963 feet long, with a top speed of 32.5 knots, she is also one of the largest and fastest passenger vessels afloat. And now the QE2 looks forward to a tranquil retirement. In 2008, she will cease her role as an ocean-going passenger vessel to be refurbished and adapted for her new life as an entertainment destination in Dubai. Not many of us have ever been able to call the QE2 home, but I was one of those chosen to be resident on her for one of those years. And it was with great excitement recently that I was given the opportunity to retrace my steps and visit her again in Port Everglades. Martin, I'd just like to say how very kind it is of you to have us here. Well, it's my great pleasure. On a very exciting day. Absolutely. Um, tell us a little about it. You're leaving for a world cruise. This is our 25th world cruise, the 25th Jubilee world cruise of the Queen Elizabeth II. Um, we leave here at 5 o'clock today, uh, along with our big sister that's in at the moment as well, the Queen Mary II. Head out of the Channel, back into the Atlantic and down into the Caribbean, where our next port of call will be Grand Cayman, Georgetown. Oh, really? Yes. And then where do you go after that? How many countries are you going to do on this world? That's cruise? a great question. I'm Is glad it? you've asked that, yeah, because I haven't <laughs> counted, but it's oh. a lot. Uh, we, we basically do a complete lap of the world. From there, we would go down to Cartagena, Colombia. I can run through them quickly for you if you wish. Uh, the Panama Canal, right. Panama City, up to Acapulco, Los Angeles, San Francisco, two ports in Hawaii, then down to the Polynesian Islands, Tahiti, Fiji, New Zealand, Australia, up to uh, Papua New Guinea, Japan, China, Hong Kong, uh, Thailand, I'm remembering now, Vietnam, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Seychelles, Mauritius, uh, South Africa, and then the Canary Islands, Madeira, back to Southampton. That's fantastic. You yeah. should have a medal for remembering all well, of that, actually. You get um, used to doing them. Right. Now, how many world cruises have you this done? This is my third. Is this it? is my third, yes. I, I transferred across to the, uh, the Queen Elizabeth II uh, after working on the Coronia, which was our little sister that's no longer with us. But, I was going to uh, say, the Coronia goes a long way back. Yes, she does. Well, well the third Coronia. Oh, the third okay. One, I, was yes. gonna, I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah they I renamed it another enough one. To yeah. be on the first it was the Vista Fjord, and they changed it to the Coronia. I didn't realize that. Now, tell me a little bit about how many passengers do you have on board for this cruise? Um, we, we carry the, the, the number does vary when we go on to em embarkation ports like today, like uh, Los Angeles, like San Francisco, mm -hmm. but around about 1,700, 1,750 passengers and a, a thousand crew. I was going to say, what's the ratio? Yeah. So that's amazing. Yeah, it's it, a great really? ratio. It's actually, like yeah. two passengers almost to one member of the Absolutely. crew. Absolutely. But yeah, just a little less than that. So uh, right. it's, a, it's a good passenger to crew ratio. Right. Now, how on earth do you entertain them all the way around the world? Well, that, I suppose our job uh, there makes it quite difficult because you, we have this year almost a thousand people doing the whole way around. Um, and therefore, to offer the 108 nights, which the, the world cruise generally is right. um, a different exciting show every night is a challenge but I think we pull it off uh, we will have a number of male vocalists during the world cruise a number of female vocalists comedy acts and we try to offer different um, local shows in the ports that we stay either late in or if we have an overnight for example Sydney right. we will bring on local entertainment that's uh, relative to the area that we are we have a Maori show in in Auckland we have a Hawaiian show in Hawaii so right. we are able to offer that as, a, as an upbeat uh, way of keeping them entertained So it's very as well. exciting. Now you presumably are flying artists in and out. Right? In and out at all times. Right. We have entertainers joining us today. They uh -huh. will then get off in Cartagena. Uh, new entertainers join. Some will get on in Panama. And it's a, a constant uh, process of bringing on. And lecturers as well. We use enrichment lectures. I was wondering about that. Um, yes, in fact, I'm sure you Patricia do. Patricia yeah. Neal joined us uh, in New York. A great right. uh, Hollywood actress. Gosh. Um, Terry know. Waite, who was the hostage really? in Beirut, is on at the moment as well. Uh -huh. And then they will leave in uh, Los Angeles. And then and we'll have another celebrity lecturer come on as well. It's always right. a great pleasure to have them on board. Of course, it's yeah. very exciting. Yeah. It excites the passengers as well because very they much don't so, get yeah. an opportunity yeah. to see these people up close very no, often. No, and oh. not only see them up close, I mean, even if they were to go to 
and enjoy the lecture circuit in the UK and the US, it's they'll 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 hear the lecture, uh -huh. they'll go out backstage and they won't see them again. Exactly. They'll leave and go yes, home. Exactly. Here, Terry could be sitting on the next table having dinner with you, yes. walks and sits next to you in the show. Right. Um, Patricia Neal was sitting right over here in the show last night watching the show and really? she loved it. Yeah, oh, it was a, oh, our, our, oh, yeah. our dance group were on last night and she really loved the show. Right. So um, people do get to have contact with them as well outside of watching them lecture. I think that's fabulous. Uh -huh. They get to ask those questions that maybe they wanted to ask. For a lifetime they may have been Right, wondered. absolutely. Um, tell me a little bit about your team, the crew staff. Right. What is this, how many people do you have and well, who's doing what? The whole department um, of permanent staff is about 64. Oh, the whole really? department, Gosh. yes. And then if you count the entertainers and lecturers come, they're coming on and the clergy, I have clergy on board the ship at right. any one time. Right. We have bridge lecturers, art instructors, um, people like that that come on, gentlemen hosts, mm -hmm. decorators that decorate the ship for the various theme balls during the cruise. But the actual cruise staff, we have myself, second in charge of the department is the assistant cruise director or deputy cruise director, right. Warren Smith. Right. Uh, then we have a cruise hostess who's assisted by uh, a cruise secretary. Mm -hmm. um, she does the, all the paperwork for the department for the various parties that we have. And we have dedicated cruise staff team, the ones that do the activities, from the quizzes to the bingo to the theme nights. Mm -hmm. um, there's four of those. We have an international hostess that looks after our foreign speaking guests. She speaks five languages fluently. Gosh. We have an administration assistant that does the administration of, of the department, the birthing list, because of course we've got different entertainers coming on. Right. She does the travel arrangements for them, the pickups and things like that. It, it's yeah. actually quite a big operation. Um, and it, it's great. It runs very, very smoothly, I'm happy to say. Well, good. Obviously, yes. that comes from the We've top. got a good team. Well, no, yes. we, we have a good team. No, I, I say, but you know, you're only as good as the team that you work and, with. And yes, you yes. have control, of, obviously, over who comes to work for you um, uh, in the cruise. Ultimately, yes. Right. Ultimately. Yes. But everybody yes. that's on at the moment is, has been with the ship quite a while. And right. I think we've got a very polished team at the moment. Right. Um, I mean, I, sounds, I don't wish to sound condescending, but I'm very proud at times to see watch and see how they do a quiz and things like that and they've, they've just got it right it's just right for the QE2. Right. Generally speaking if we have a day at sea which are, there are, as I'm sure you imagine there's lots during a world cruise right. we, we are formal that evening in dress there are three dress codes on the ship there is elegant casual informal and formal mm -hmm. and formal nights make up almost 60 nights on the world cruise um, so she's still a very formal ship with a, a, a British style to her I, I, I think that's the way I look at her I have been asked how I describe her, and I, I, I love the new ships as well. I mean, they've got all the mod cons. I've walked around many of the princess ships recently. Um, but one thing I think is different. You look at the new modern ships that are sailing out of Miami, sailing out of whatever glades. They are the, the Mercedes that you might drive to work yes. every day. They've got everything, the air conditioning, every feature that you could want on them. And you use those in the week, and at the weekend, you like to go out and drive that old Jaguar XK that you've got in your, in your garage, that old classic British sports car. The QE2 is that old classic British sports car, and still the fastest merchant vessel in the world with a top speed of 34 knots. I was going to ask you, yeah. I was trying to tell somebody um, yesterday, you know, that I thought it was about 30 to 33, yeah, 34, something like that, yeah. but it's 34. She'll do 20 astern. Uh huh, really? Yes, which is well, quicker than a lot of vessels can go forwards. Good Lord, she'll yeah. go backwards at 20, 20 knots, knots. Yeah, yes, which is about almost 22 miles an hour. Right. I should I don't think you want to go backwards. No, though, really, no, I don't think the views are. I've, I've, the wing mirrors aren't big enough. I don't think to see <laughs> right, where you're going. Right. <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about the artists and entertainers. Where do you find them? How do you get them? They're when booked through our them? office in Santa Clarita, which is in, in California, mm -hmm. um, and they will use various agents, uh, entertainment agencies around the world, um, in the UK and in the US. And most of them are regular performers that come back. We we, we use a rating system on the ship where mm -hmm. we give the passengers the opportunity to to let us know which entertainers they enjoyed and which ones possibly they did not enjoy as much mm -hmm. and then once we've we've received those ratings back of the entertainers that allows us to decide which ones are, are appropriate for the Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, so what that means is we regularly have entertainers that have been on before and have always been successful so that yes. means we keep the, the standard of entertainment up high. In fact our sister ship the Queen Mary II which uh, uses the same entertainers as, as we do recently won award, an award for the best entertainment at sea really? so that I think that also washes off on us a little bit because of the course. same entertainers individual entertainers go on there as go on here so right. I think that's great for us it's terrific yeah. for you yes now you have um, we didn't in, in the old days we didn't have like a troupe of dancers I believe you have right. some beautiful dancers on here. beautiful dancers from all around the world we have them from Argentina from Russia mm -hmm. from the UK um, 
very, very talented. This is a traveling cast for the World Cruise specifically we have on at the moment, and they will leave us having performed six shows from here to Sydney on the World Cruise. They walk down the gangway, jump in transport and go up the gangway of the Queen Mary 2 and finish oh, off the oh Queen really? Mary 2's oh, World brilliant. Cruise yes. with the same six shows. Yes. Um, but they're fabulous. They did their first performance last night and I have to say that the audience loved it. I loved it. I watched both shows and you can see on their faces that they enjoyed performing. It was great. Right. Was oh, that's wonderful. Great success. Good, good. Mm. Um, and they have a beautiful costumes and things like that. I'm sure the costumes right. go with them and yes, probably yes. specially made for the, the shows. All specially made yes. for the shows. Yeah. Um, I, I'm sure, I would imagine, great expense because I'm a great feathers, beautifully right. designed, they look fabulous. Mm. They're really, it's right. very bright and brightens up the stage. Right. Well, well, I have to ask you a little bit about the, the different rooms because um, in my day, we when we did the crossings, we were uh, divided into two classes. Two class systems, And of I course, believe yes. that doesn't happen anymore. No, no, Just as no. well, it doesn't happen anymore. We've moved forward anymore. now. We've Good moved answer, forward. Please. We've but jumped forward into the 21st forward. century. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about the rooms, where the entertainment is, and we may <coughs> perhaps be able to go and maybe take a shot of the yes, room or something absolutely. like that, if that would be all right absolutely. Absolutely, certainly no um, problem at all. This is the Grand Lounge. Um, we use this for the main shows at night. Right. This is where each and every evening we will have a main show at 8.30 in the mm -hmm. evening and 10.30 in the evening. So people got the opportunity to pick which of those two shows they go to. Right. It's right. the same show repeated. Yes. And uh, below us, directly below us, we have the Queen's Room. The Queen's Room is our ballroom dancing venue, a place where we'll hold themed balls. The first one's coming up on the 13th. That is a, uh, a pirate ball because we're in the Caribbean and it's got a pirate yeah theme to it. Yes. Then we'll have a Mexican Fiesta Ball and a number of different balls throughout the World Cruise as we do every year. Great for ballroom dancing if you enjoy to dance that is the place to be and it's the second largest dance floor at sea. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. I There's mean, only one gosh. bigger and the one that's bigger I'm sure you now can guess is again our big sister the Queen <laughs> the Mary, Queen Mary too, and she's a foot longer her dance uh -huh. floor is one foot longer right. so the, the two largest dance floors at sea are on the two queens at the moment and that's a very popular room in the evening specifically more so I would say on the world cruise we have a lot of dancers we have gentlemen host team down there mm -hmm. to dance with any single ladies that we may have and it's it's a great ambience and atmosphere and we have a, an orchestra that plays strict tempo music down there right and tell me being a musician of course I'm always interested in the orchestras what right. orchestras do you have on board these days we have the the, the the, the main orchestra in here, mm -hmm. which we call the QE2 Orchestra, they right. play for all the shows, they play pre-show music and, and various spots around the room. In fact, they do a jazz set on a Sunday lunchtime in the Golden Lion Pub, which is another venue on the ship. Okay, that's a, very, a new one to me. I very British that pub. Is yeah, it? you must go yes. and have a look. Yes, I'd love to. We have the Yacht Club, um, which uh, we have a Caribbean band in, actually. Mm -hmm. They don't just play Caribbean music, they play music from all genres. So mm -hmm. each evening you can enjoy live music in our Yacht Club, which right. I suppose you could call our nightclub, our disco. It uh -huh. stays open till, till late. On the World Cruise, it's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all sorts of time changes going rather we well. We do, too, yes. yes. Crossing the Atlantic, we, we, we had an hour back every night, literally. Uh -huh, yes, and I as we go that. around the world, we've got to make up 24 hours, basically, right. from Good Southampton heavens. to Southampton. So by and the we lose a day as well when we so cross the Atlantic. So by the time you get day. to Southampton, your body's completely messed up. Doesn't know where it no, is. Sure Doesn't it know where it is. <laughs> and we, we lose a day as well because we cross the international date line. Right, of We course, completely yes, lose a day. Yes. Which when is a bit strange. When you cross the equator, do you still do a sort of a ceremony? We do the crossing the line ceremony, yes. Yes, we do. Happen, we do it when we go south uh -huh. um, normally the first time um, so that will be towards the end of January we will have that event out by the pool right. and uh, it's How a lot lovely. of fun a lot of fun anybody that's never crossed the equator before uh -huh. we initiate oh do you yes. oh my goodness. and they get covered in gunk and oh, they wow. have to kiss a, a fish and Oh, good. Yes, well, it's that's fun. exciting. It's a funny event. Um, well, I would like to thank you. I'm not going to keep you because I know oh, you're, you're desperately, desperately busy. You've got a big event coming on this afternoon, we a have, farewell yes. party. Absolutely, yes. Um, with a lot of VIPs, I'm sure. A lot of guests that are attention. regular, yes. Right. And tell me a little bit, just very quickly, the Queen Mary is actually sailing out more or less at the same time, or is she just going before you? Fingers crossed she's going out with us. I, I'm not sure which order we're going out at the moment. I'm not even sure that that's been 100% decided. decided. Exactly yeah, it depends right. on, on, the, on the, the departure procedures. And I think whichever one's ready first will go right. out first. But the idea is that you both sell, send, sail uh, out. Ultimately, in, we'll go together. Marvelous yes. splendor together, yes. which will be marvelous. Yes, 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 and it great. will be great. And she heads off down south, round South America, uh -huh. because of course she won't go through the Panama Canal. She's too large. I hadn't. And I we go through the Panama that. Canal. Yes. Okay, so she has to go around the tip. She then. goes around the tip, and we meet okay. up again in Sydney. Right. So, right. But she's going around the world in 80 days. Is she? Yes, she's going very quickly. Much quicker so, than you are. Yes, yes, yes. yes, 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 yes. That'll yeah. be a whirlwind. Oh, very much type. so. Yeah. But her first one, it's good for her to right. do that. 
Well, thank you. You're thank welcome. You again. My this pleasure. It's so good of you to have us here oh, on, a, on a day when everything's to. happening and, you know, the whole thing's, you know... Embarkation days flying. are busy days, but it's good okay. you get to meet all the new people. Well, thank you we very enjoy. much indeed, Martin. We're just thank delighted you. to meet you. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. I'd like you to introduce yourselves, please. Uh, I'm Kia Grandy. And? and I'm James Pearson. And Kia and James, tell me what you do. I know you're both artists, but just tell me exactly what sort of act you do. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Go on, you can do that. Uh, well, on Cunard, on the QE2 and on the QM2, we work for a company called Belinda King Productions. Right. Um, and we basically perform in um, dance and singing shows. So they're sort of almost like review shows. Um, we are the two singers in this particular set of shows. Right. Um, with how many dancers do we have? 12? 10? 10. 10. Ten dancers. Gosh, that's a lot of dancers, actually. Yeah, it's it's quite a lot for for this for theatre. That stage, it's funny. I was thinking the same thing because um, they must be very well coordinated. I think they're <laughs> yeah. falling off the platform. From time to time. Um, the shows are adapted because the size difference is quite considerable between oh, really? the theatre on here and the theatre on the Queen Mary Two. Uh -huh. And we are swapping onto the Queen Mary Two in five weeks when we get to Sydney. Oh, you are. Yes. Oh, how exciting! So. Now you've obviously worked on the Mary before. Yes, both of us were on there for six months. We left in November, so just a few weeks ago, actually, two months ago. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um, so you were on her until November, and then you came on here? Then we went back to Northampton, where Belinda King Productions is based, which is the company that formulates all the shows. Uh -huh. um, and we went into rehearsal for six weeks oh, there. Oh, I see, yes. yes um, I wondered rehearsing about six new shows, which is right. um, quite, a, quite a feat, because... Uh, to do six new shows which have never been performed, choreographed before, um, six weeks was qu quite a challenge, yes, wasn't yes. it? Cutting, cutting <laughs> a little, a little yes, bit it's, tight. It's, yes, yeah. yes. Now, do you work together? I mean, when you're singing and dancing, do you actually work as a, as a duo or...? Yeah, we have solos that we do and then we have a lot of duos as well. Uh, right, but duets. you're not actually a double act. You no, are two single people in who fact, come together. No, um, Belinda... Belinda King Productions auditions people, so mm -hmm. we're, we're both um, actor singers in in England, just right. sort of in, in the circuit there. And um, Belinda held auditions in London, and we both got got picked independently. Right. So we worked so. in the Queen Mary uh, two together. Well, as a, as a, the dancers as well, um, and there were twelve dancers and four singers on there. Right. And then we were asked to do the world cruise. And so there's just the two singers and, and our ten dancers for this. Right. And how did you sort of hear about the job on the ship? How, what, you know, what attracted your attention to do the audition in the first place? Um, mine, mine was through my agent, actually, mm -hmm. through my theatrical agent. Um, he'd heard about about it, and I mean, obviously, there are lots of there are lots of um, shipboard entertainment companies. Yes. Um, but Belinda, Belinda King, uh, was one I was particularly interested in working for. So. Right, right. In my days, it was only really Bernard Delfont. Right. Delfont did it all. Right. right. Um, and so if you didn't get to Delfont, you didn't come on. Really? You know. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there's, there's, I think um, for Cunard, uh, there's a, a chap in, um, well, certainly on the Queen Mary 2, there's a, a guy in Canada that does all the onboard, like a violinist or a vocalist, you know, I think they're called guest entertainers. Right. Uh -huh. um, but we're brought on as production shows through Belinda King and Cunard, so we're sort of the in-house company. Yes, as yes. It may be. yes, which is really rather nice. Well, well, do tell me a little bit about, I know you've been on the Mary for a, quite a long time, you've only been on here for a week, mm. <laughs> um, but tell me what you know about the other performers. What type of performers? Do you have um, a dance act, or as well as your, your dancers, mm. your, your troupe of dancers? There are all 
sorts of, of, of act really. Mm -hmm. um, there are lots of vocalists, female vocalists, male vocalists who have their own acts that they've formulated and they, they brought on. Right. Um, and there is crossover between the QE2 and, and the QM2. So. Mm -hmm. so if you're a success on one ship, you, you might get transferred yes, to the other so. ship. Yes, I think so. And we had, uh, we had a circus act, didn't we? A, a kind of acrobats yeah, contortion. Had, uh, it was fantastic. Did you? Yeah. And singers, uh, flute, flautists. Pianists. Violinists. Yeah, violinists. Really? Oh, just, that's great. Lots, lots of different yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, they didn't have jugglers. Well, they're not. I don't, can't remember jugglers in my day, but it, if the ship starts to move, yeah. it's terribly hard for them because everything falls on the yeah. floor, you know. Yeah, how do you cope? Because a lot of people watching will, will <laughs> would love to know how do you cope? <laughs> we don't, I don't know. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's, um, this, this past week, it's been particularly rough. In fact, oh, people, has it people really? have been on here for many years have said they, they haven't known it to be like this for quite some time or well, the length of time like you might get a, um, a rough night you know, yes got, yes like, I think it was three or four days yeah. solid wasn't it yeah. of just up and down and well, if you're at the front of the ship it was unbelievable I'm sure so, it was yes so uh, the, even the vocalists that were just standing still were having real problems <laughs> they were just all over the place right well yes. now where were you coming from was that coming from, from Southampton South okay yeah. well that can be a, yeah that can be a tricky yes in January out. yes <laughs> in January um, I did one in January which was horrendous it was like eight days on the Frank and it never stopped moving the oh. whole time and everybody was ill and it was just mm. awful but of course we must say that that doesn't happen very often it doesn't actually. no um, especially no. to a ship of this size you don't feel no, emotion. And, and again, the, the Queen Mary, I mean, if you, you've seen today, I mean, that, you don't feel anything. Really? Really? That's she just doesn't move at all? Yeah. She doesn't sway and at this, all? This, this ship really holds it well as well. I mean, last night it was, it was there was a few ways, but it, you know, it just ploughs through and it's, yeah, it is, it's lovely. It's right. getting used to the different movement as well for us because I, th I think each ship is different. Has a slightly different yeah. move. Yes, they do. And uh, so the QE2 is, has a very different kind of movement to the QM. So of course, right. being on there for six months, we've got completely used to that. Right. And yes. so I think this week for us has just been an orientation week of working out which way you need to brace yourself right. when the ship moves. <laughs> right. Stay away from the front. Yeah. Right. And the edge of the stage. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Don't to land fall on people's off laps. <laughs> It's very it's exciting. It's a trip of a lifetime, really. And the marvellous thing is that you're working on board, which is such fun, really. Mm. And it it's is, great yeah. to be a passenger, but it's marvellous to, to be working here. Mm, it is. Um, anyway, thank you. I know you have a busy day. I think you have a, do you have a rehearsal now? Is there we a do. Rehearsal coming yeah. up? Where will the rehearsal be? Where do you rehearse? Uh, right behind here. Us oh, behind us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, that's convenient because everybody's gone ashore anyway. That's yes. Right. It's been quite strange, actually, this week because normally you rehearse in a, a you know, theatre or whatever, which right, is empty, yes, but yes. we were doing rehearsals to 200 people, oh, and it was really, really They're doing funny. their shopping, and they start you know, to have a little just look. People <laughs> sitting down, it's like, oh, well, all right, you know, fair enough. Well, so. if it makes them feel part of the whole thing, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's it nice. It's a different way of doing things. Well, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> well, thank you both very much, particularly on this very busy day, for coming and talking to us, and I know thank our viewers you. will be most interested to meet you and to hear about some of the things that you're, you're doing and going to be doing over the next few months. Uh, thank you. Thank you and uh, just bon voyage. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. And so we bid them farewell on the eve of their voyage to distant lands. We say goodbye to one of the most famous cruise liners of our time. God speed you on your way and may you sail in calm waters and fair weather. <laughs>